Hello everyone, this is Neo and welcome to the episode. Today ay nasa Triumph Green Hills tayo to check out a new unit. And it is the Speed 400. So, let's check it out. This is the Speed 400, Triumph's new entry-level motorcycle developed and built alongside Bajaj. Powered by a 398cc single-cylinder, dual-overhead cam, liquid-cooled engine that produces 39.5 horsepower and 37.5 Newton meters of torque. It comes with ABS, traction control, and ride-by-wire. It also has a large capacity 13-liter fuel tank and some beefy 43mm upside-down forks, making the Speed 400 in par with the sizes of its bigger siblings. Anyway, let's proceed with the details you don't usually see on spec sheets. Okay, so ito yung magiging seat height. I am 5'6 with the 30-inch na inseam. So, ganito magiging ride height niya. Mababa lang. Medyo tiptoe. Ang seat height nito, by the way, is 790mm from the ground. So, yeah, ito itsura nun. Kung isang paa, flat foot, 4 or 5, 6. Tapos kung dalawang paa, yan, medyo tiptoe. Ayan. Tapos ato yung ante. Ganito. And then, riding position niya, very straightforward. Okay, what I can say about is yung overall weight ng bike. Yeah, ang gaan lang. Ang dali tayo. Kahit nakaganyan pa yung steering mo. Anong problema? This is going to be a nice selection if you're looking for your first bike. Okay, so one of the things that I find very useful is tong meron na siyang stock na grab rail. And this is very useful, lalo na sa akin, if I move things around. So, sample. Kailangan ko siya balik. Laking tulong. Alright, so tingnan naman natin Scrambler 400X. Um, as you can see, mas mataas na siya uh, given na uh, Scrambler nga siya. It has a higher ground clearance and then yung gulong niya sa harap is, or yung mags sa harap is 19 inches big. So, try natin sa kyan. Dalawang paa na nakababa, tipto na ako. Matigas yung side stand. <laughs> Pero yan. If one foot down, medyo tipto pa rin. And then getting off is, hmm. Can't be the same. Try natin. Standard this one. Naman. <laughs> so yeah, that's the difference doon sa Speed 400, medyo flat foot pa. This one, tiptoe na oh, for someone that is 5'6", na may 30-inch engine. Alright, so what I see is yung kanyang design is very asymmetrical. Yung tank cap is nasa right side. And then yung sa display, the way it's designed is nasa side yung ignition. And then there's a very big na display panel, a combination of analog and digital. This lights up really well. This is up close. You can see the quality with the bars. So for the switches, yeah, you have the Triumph quality as well. Though, nitpick ko lang is yung kanyang red. Masyadong bright, in my opinion. But it's still fine overall looking the bike. Ang ganda pa rin. Ganda ng finish. Ganda ng paint job. This one, this line is uh, sticker na top coated and then the lower portion is painted as well. Meron tayong na-chempohan dito ang mga 400 units. Ganda oh, yung other color ng Scrambler yung 400. Alright, so ganun yung tunog niya. And then preview lang, this is the display panel when it's lit up. Tingnan natin yung headlight since nakabukas na rin. This is the iconic uh, Triumph headlight design. Yung may logo nila na sa gitna lang. Ito yung kanyang taillight na very unique din kasi para siyang putol sa dulo. Nakabukas yung pa niya. Maabot dito ang init. 
traffic. Also, something similar sa mga Spark Healing 401, sa Dominar, at saka sa Dr. 90, is naka-vibe eh. Brick caliper siya. Yung disc brake, nasa kaliwa. And then yung chain, nasa kanan. Katabi ng exhaust. So, ito yung pauso ni Triumph na unique sa kanya. Yung kanyang swing arm, simple lang. Pero medyo mo ang manipis, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, and then brakes pala sa likod is also vibrate. So, this is the sub uh, sub company ng Brembo. Going back to the display, makikita mo, traction control, may ABS. But nakapagta ka lang is wala siyang temperature reading. Wala siyang temperature gauge. Kanina pa ito, Mandar, as you can see from the video, compared sa 401, na talagang packet yung init. So, habang nakabukas siya, tingnan natin kung let's simulate kung traffic, kunwari, hindi tayo nagalaw. Nantay ko kung hakit eh. Kung hakit yung hangin pa sa akin. Medyo nararamdaman ko sa hita ko dito, sa left. Pero meron. Kunti lang. Okay, one more thing. Napansin ko, pag pinatay, patay ka talaga kagad. Pero kapag binuksan mo, may onting delay from the startup. Also, na-notice ko itong upper part na to, meron siyang immobilizer. So yun, nagbiblink siya ng red every now and then. This is the immobilizer. Ayan. Yung susi, the always traditional design. Pag bumili ka ng other units or higher displacements, ganitong susi din yung makukuha mo. So yeah, as you can see here, all of the units include a Type-C USB port for charging your devices, apa, ano man yan, cell phone, navigation device, anything else. And by the way, ito si 23 Moto, uh, mas mataas sa akin. Ano height mo? 5'11. Ganito ang itsura. Nakupo ka ba? <laughs> Ayan, upo ka, upo ka. Ganyan, ganyan ang itsura kapag naka 5'11 ka. Tignan lang. Ayan, very relaxed pose. Pasok muna tayo kasi ang init dito eh. Uh, we'll be right back. Pasok lang kami. Ang init! Pansin na naman kami bago. Ito, this is Castile kasi. Reinforce yung loob eh. Tsaka iba yung finish niya. Compared dito na brush aluminum. And also, I would like to point out na this is not steel. This is plastic. Para sa kanyang gulong na scrambler is yung Metzler and then for the Speed 400, it's the Jablo Rosso 3. The Speed 400 is a beautiful entry-level motorcycle from Triumph at a very friendly price. The price for the Speed 400 is 299,000, while the Scrambler 400X is at 339,000 Philippine pesos. There are some parts that are left out in terms of the premium feeling, like the grips, the red buttons, the plastic headlight cover, plastic belly pan, the plastic handguard, Though I understand that those plastic pieces can be replaced easily and will not break the bank, especially for an entry-level motorcycle. I'm quite impressed by how the fan works as it mitigates the heat from reaching the rider by blowing the heat sidewards. The fuel tank sure stands out and you can surely reach far destinations as it has a capacity of 13 liters. That's actually a lot of fuel for a single cylinder. The display panel design is nicely done but the quality can be improved. Like the Svart Pilen, it has traction control, ABS, and an immobilizer. But the Speed 400 does not have a quick shifter. In actual, the bike looks a lot larger and does not look like a 400. What I like most is how the Speed 400 stays faithful to Triumph's DNA even though it is a budget-level bike made and developed with Bajaj. This episode is partially knowing the bike and I'm eager to test it out myself soon. Okay, so that's it for our episode today. I'll just put in the details here for you to message if you're interested in the Triumph bikes that you're seeing right now. Again, this is Neo of Neo Blitz Moto. As always, ride safe and see you on the roads.